Hello, everyone. I would like to use um, two uh, problems to show how we can make use of direct numbers. Now, look at this one. Now, um, there's a competition, and if you have one correct answer, you will get uh, 20 marks. If your answer is wrong, then in this case, 10 marks were deducted. And if you leave some questions blank, then in this case, five marks were deducted. Now, first of all, we have to identify um, the, the uh, words which have uh, opposite meaning. Um, in this case, you can um, see that um, actually um, the first one is that you will have mass given and the other case that you will have mass deducted. Therefore, we can use um, um, direct number to represent these two meanings. Um, usually, we use positive to represent given because you have something. And for the other case, we use negative because you lose some mass in this case. Now, Dev, um, and then uh, for this one, um, it's talking about Jimmy, and he got zero mark at the end, and we don't know um, actually how many questions were provided for him. This is what we have to find in this problem. Now, there are three cases in, um, in this one. We have mass given for correct answer, we have wrong answer, then mass will be deducted, and some questions will be given up, then the mass will be deducted. Therefore, we can think the total mass uh, consists of these three parts. The mass from the correct answers, the mass from wrong answer, and then the mass from the give, uh, questions given up. And then because we are talking about total, therefore we can imagine um, we have these three parts added together. And therefore, in this case, the mass at the end is zero. Therefore, it means uh, the sum of these three parts will be zero at the end. And then now we have to uh, see uh, how many mass for each part. Now, if for the mass for, um, from correct answer, now in this case, Jimmy, let's see, um, answer three questions correctly. That's for, uh, in this case, you can see we have three times positive 20 because mass were given to him. And then he got um, five questions wrongly. Okay, he, then in this case, uh, for each uh, wrong answer, 10 marks will be deducted. That's why 5 times negative 10, this uh, negative here, okay, once again, it refers to mass deducted. Okay, um, here, um, we don't know uh, how many questions he gave up. Therefore, this part is um, unknown, okay? And for uh, each question given up, five marks were deducted, were deducted. Therefore, we have negative here, like that. Therefore, you can first think we've got something like that, okay? Now, um, this part, uh, three, okay, means the number of uh, correct answer. Of course, when we can't, when we can't something, okay, the number of questions in this case, um, it is positive. Therefore, uh, we can uh, write in this way, positive three, okay, it represents the numbers of uh, correct answers. And then times positive 20, because 20 marks were given. And then plus, because um, the total mass uh, is the sum of um, three parts in this case, therefore we add something, okay? Um, positive five means the number of uh, wrong answer in this case. And then for each wrong answer, 10 marks were deducted, therefore times negative 10, and then add the other part. Um, the number of questions given up 
were unknown in this was unknown in this case. Therefore, we I just leave a question uh, question mark here, and then times uh, negative five. Okay, five marks were detected for um, each question given up, and then the total is zero. Um, this part is just um, for a kind of analysis or um, express our thinking. Therefore, um, in order to find the number of questions provided in the competition, we, we have to find this one first. And then if you look at this part, it means three numbers. OK, we, we have three numbers here, the first one, second one, and the third one. OK, uh, the sum of these three numbers is zero. And then we first find out this one. Therefore, in this case, OK, um, you can um, pause the video for a moment and try to um, express the number of questions given up, OK? Think about it. When you are ready, then you can continue with the video. Now, if you look at the, um, the proper step, we have to find the number of questions given up. Therefore, in this case, we have zero, OK? The sum of these three numbers minus, OK, this part, OK? Positive 3 times positive 20, and then minus this number, the second number here, positive 5 times negative 10. And um, here, it is the product of these two numbers, the question mark and the negative 5. Therefore, if we want to find this part here, we after we have found the difference here, we divide it by um, negative 5. And then we um, simplify the numerator in this case. Um, here, posit positive times positive, we get a positive number. 3 times 20 is 60. And for this one, a pos uh, the product of a positive number and negative number is negative. And 5 times 10 is minus uh, 50. And we further simplify it. Right, and uh, we have minus positive number. Oh. Right, uh, come back here. Okay, uh, then we have minus positive number, which is negative, and then minus a negative number, it becomes plus. Okay, plus fifty here, and then is we we continue. We have negative 10 for the numerator and then negative 10 divided by negative 5 is positive 2 and this positive 2 represents the number of questions given up and then we are asked to find the uh, number of questions provided in the competition which is 3 okay plus 5 here and then this one we just find it which is 2 therefore altogether there are 10 questions provided in the competition right let's look at um and other questions this one is um, more complicated. Let's um, read the question first. Um, there are two companies. One is called Healthy Company, and the other one is Lively Company. And uh, first of all, um, Healthy Company um, had a cash balance of 180000 and then he made a loss uh, for the first five months, OK? And for the monthly loss is um, $40,000. And then he uh, started to make a profit of 15000 monthly um, for the rest of the year. And at the same time, Lively Company had a cash balance of 200000 uh, at the beginning, and then it made a profit of 5000 monthly for the first three months, and then it started to make a loss of $30,000, okay, for the rest of the year. Now, um, first, uh, for part A, we have to, uh, we, you're asked to find the cash balance for both companies at the end of April. And then part B is more or less the same. Uh, you are asked to compare which company had more cash left. And the ways to find it is to find the cash balance for each company at the end of August. 
And then Part C, there's another company which is called Cheerful Company. It had a cash balance of two hundred twenty thousand at the beginning, and uh, at the end of August, the cash balance of this company is just the same as the lively company. Therefore, you have to make use of the answer um, actually in Part B, and you um. After you you compare the um, cash balance at the beginning and the cash balance at the end of August, then you should know that whether this cheerful company made um, a profit or loss um, for uh, the eight months, and then we can find the monthly profits and loss. Okay. Now first, um, we I want to um, just uh express this information in terms of some diagrams like that. Now, um, this is the beginnings of the year. It means, uh, say, you, you can think it's the 1st of uh, January, OK? Um, for a healthy company, it had a cash balance of 180000 And then in January, OK, it make a loss of um, Forty thousand, okay, forty thousand dollars. Now I'll just look at this sentence again. Make a loss for the first five months. Therefore, it means for January, February, March, April, and May, this company had a loss, okay, and then started making a profit for the rest of the year. It means um, starting from June, okay, it had a profit, okay, fifteen thousand, okay, July. It's a uh, it made a profit fifteen thousand for August okay fifteen thousand like that continuously okay and for the other company lively company um at the beginning um it made a uh, it it had a cash balance two hundred thousand and then for the first three months it made a uh, profits, okay, five thousand for each month, and then it started to have a loss, okay, thirty thousand, okay, for the rest of the years like that, and here uh, we also have two words, which are having opposite meaning, okay, is the case profits and loss. And usually, um, we use positive to represent profits, and then negative to represent loss. And that's why you can see that um, here, for say take healthy company, okay, as an example, you you can see that I write negative of forty thousand dollars here, because this forty thousand is a loss. And after the first five months, say um, this is June, it started to make a profit. That's why you can see that there is a positive sign here, okay, which means uh, a profit. Now, um, when we calculate cash balance, um, we we consider cash should be accumulated for um, when time plus passes that's why um, you you can see uh, we can see the next slide when we find the cash balance of, say for healthy company okay at the end of April there are four months we are having a sum here like that. It means um, when time passes, uh, the cash is accumulated. Okay, it means we have this month we we have some cash, this month we have some, and then we all together. Okay, at the end from all for all four months all together, um, there's a balance. Okay, um, in this case, therefore we do an addition here. But for, say for healthy company. It had the loss for the first um, five months. Okay, that's why it means for January to April, it make a, a loss. Okay, for these four months. 
Okay. Therefore, you can see that we have a we have the beginning balance here, and then we add. Okay. Um, this represents the number of months. That's why it is always positive. And then we use a direct number to represent the loss. Okay. And this is the case. Okay. We have negative here. And when we simplify this one, we have this part. Okay. A one hundred eighty thousand minus one hundred sixty thousand. Now, if you start the calculation from this point, um, that's the case that you are just not using a direct number. Okay, um, you just uh, you you just have the thinking that um, we have a loss. That's why we have to minus the cash. Okay, that's why um. In this case, you are not really using a direct number to represent the calculation. Okay, um, of course, at the end you you will get the same answer. But for um, this case, just want to show you we we can um, uh, how we can make use of direct number to represents the different meanings of profits and loss, okay? And um, if you understand how to calculate the cash balance for every company, it's just more or less the same for lively company. Um, for lively company, okay, our uh, first three months, it makes a profit. That's why we um, start, with, uh, start with the uh, beginning balance, okay, 200,000. And the first three months, therefore, up to this part is just um, the cash balance at the end of March, and then it started um, to uh, make a loss. That's why um, we, in this case, just April it had a loss. Therefore, positive one just one month. Okay, in this case, and then the loss is represented by this negative, and therefore at the end you you will get this value. Now, then for part B at the end of August, um, you can uh, make use of these two values. It means um, they are the uh, cash balance at the end of April. Then you can just um, use these two values as the starting point and then calculate um, the, re uh, the, the cash balance for the coming four months, okay, after the coming four months. Therefore, um, at the end of August, um, it's more or less the same as part A. And for healthy company, okay, um, for May, it had a loss because it made a loss for the first five months. And then for June, July, and August, it made a profit. Okay, that's why here um, it should be positive three. Okay, I forget. I forgot a positive sign here. It should be a positive, positive fifteen thousand. Okay, to emphasize that it is a profit. Okay, therefore in this case, um, you can find that the healthy company had a cash balance that of um. 25,000 at, at the end of August. And similarly, uh, to calculate the cash balance for lively company, okay, we start from the uh, cash balance at the end of April, and then it make a loss for the uh, following four months. That's why uh, we plus uh, we plus positive four times negative, okay, 30,000. Okay, this negative emphasize that it is a loss. And at the end, um, the lively company uh, has a cash balance 65,000. That's why in this case, lively company have more cash left. Now, then for part C, um, the cheerful company, um, had the same cash balance, okay, as that of lively company at the end of August. Now, therefore, in this case, you we can think in this way, okay. This uh, cheerful company, okay, at the beginning of the year, it means say first of July of January, um, it had two hundred twenty thousand, okay, dollars, and then. 
at the end of August, after eight months, okay, after eight months, um, it has only sixty five thousand, okay, and then you you can see that there's a change in cash balance, and in this case we call this one original value, okay, this is the values, um at the beginning and then this one is the new value and therefore first we find the change in cash balance when we find something called change we use the new value uh, minus original original values and then in this case you get a negative here and actually this negative means the company had a loss okay and for these eight months and then uh, this company made the same amount of profit or loss monthly for the whole year it means for each uh, for each month uh, the profit or loss um, was just the same in this case we know that it is a loss okay the loss for each month um, was just the same and therefore the monthly loss now in this case you can see that I don't write the negative sign here because I have interpreted this negative sign as loss here therefore we don't need to write a negative here um, and then the uh, the calculation is um, is not difficult okay for eight months that's why we use this uh, 155,000 okay divided by eight and therefore we find that the monthly loss for cheerful company is ninety thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars um, right this is the um, the end of uh, this problem I hope you can uh, understand more about the applications of direct numbers in our daily life thank you for watching